Welcome back to Battlefield 2042. In this video we are talking about the fact that the game is in serious trouble the way it is currently going. And just quickly before we do jump any further into the video, if you're not currently sub to the channel make sure you do sub turn notifications on. If you enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like. All support is greatly appreciated and if you want to support me further as a creator then check out the links in the description and let's get into it. So, not too long ago, we received news that Season 1 has been delayed until early summer. Battlefield 2042 released in November of 2021, and we're now having to wait until around, I'm going to say June to August, maybe up until September. It all depends on what they class as early summer. I'm going to put a, like a, an actual one-month estimate and say July. But that all depends, because they are currently working on redesigning maps and stuff, and figuring things out to make the game, as a whole, more enjoyable for the community. As a lot of people will know, it's far too little, too late. There is nothing they can do to bring a lot of players back. If I very quickly have a look at Steam charts, on Steam, the amount of people playing, at this current time, there are 3,000 players. In the last 24 hours, the highest they've seen is 5,600. If I take a look at Battlefield 1 right now, there are 9,000 with a 12,000 24-hour peak. And Battlefield 5 currently has 25,000 with a 30,000 player 24-hour peak. Right now as well, Battlefield 4 currently has over 1,000 people playing with a 24-hour peak of 3,000. So, so Battlefield 4 has peaked in the last 24 hours more than what Battlefield 2042 is playing right now. But the main focus for this video is the scoreboard. And I say that because there's nothing to talk about when it comes to Season 1. It's been delayed, there's no other news. And I don't even think we're going to get an update until at least April. Like a month or two before the release. So maybe even May, June, that sort of time. I believe that's when we'll get the first sneak peek. And I don't think we're getting too many maps, too many new weapons. I think it's going to be the bare minimum we do receive. However, looking closer to now... The scoreboard that got delayed because of a hotfix to try and improve stability. By the way, that patch didn't work. And the reason I say it didn't work is you have a lot more players crashing now than what they did before the hotfix. And that stability hotfix was to fix issues with stability from a patch that was previously implemented to improve stability. So they have really fucked up with this. But the scoreboard got delayed. It was supposed to be mid to late Feb and it's now coming early March. And the original concept of the work in progress that we got to see, I'll put it up on screen right now. We have a match overview, the player and the AI list, the tally scoreboard, the stat weight, then we have player info, ribbon progression, then you have the squad and active players. I have heard since this that they are now going to have two tables, so you have your traditional scoreboard which shows you players from either team. I have also heard that KD, so kill death scoring, will be coming at a later date. So they have absolutely no idea how to implement this scoreboard properly. They are taking forever to put this together. It's an incredibly simple thing to create in terms of they have to create entire new maps, new weapons and everything like that. So when you compare it to the things that you're probably going to see in Season 1, a scoreboard is incredibly simple. Yet they are still failing to put this together properly. And one thing that really stands out and shows you the entire Battlefield franchise as a whole is in trouble, always has been, always will be, and I don't think DICE should be in control of it anymore. It should either be moved over to a different development company or Battlefield just ended as is. And that's because during the recent investors call, the CEO of EA, Andrew Wilson, had to tell the investors that he's confident in DICE's ability to re-engage the community and rebuild core features of the game as they have had to do it several times in the past. So the company that built Battlefield into the franchise it is today have never ever had their own vision of the game. They have always used the community to build the games and they've still got it wrong in multiple releases. When you involve your community, it's fantastic. You get the players involved, you find out what they want in the game, you build the game upon their preference. If you are using the community to get feedback because you don't have a solid vision of what you want to create and then you still get it wrong, your entire IP, franchise, 
whatever you want to call it, the whole thing is a shambles and it's inevitable that one day it will fall. So after Battlefield 2042, I mean, I don't want another AAA title from DICE in terms of the Battlefield franchise. I don't know if it will happen at some point in the future. I mean, if EA come up with really good like monetization schemes, then we'll probably see it. But even EA themselves have said they are disappointed with the sales, they will not release figures, and they've also stated that the game is like less than 10% of their portfolio, supposedly going down to less than 5%, and obviously that's because of things like FIFA and Apex Legends. But because that's the case, and Battlefield doesn't bring them in a lot of money, they're not going to continue with it. So I don't see a future for Battlefield at all. 2042 is in serious trouble, and I've said it like pretty much since the beginning. If they just focus on Portal now, forget All Out Warfare, they focus on Portal, they bring a player base in for Portal alone, then Battlefield can live on. If they don't do that, then Battlefield as we know it is dead. And what we're going to do is leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it.